Hey guys, today we're talking about nursery rhymes and art projects. So let's get going. In today's video, I'm going to share with you seven art projects that you can do with a nursery rhyme theme. Again, I use Canva to create all my pictures and artwork that I use to cut out and color for all these ideas. You can find the free version they have online or they also have a paid version that gives you more graphics as well. My first idea is to print out the letters E-I-E-I-O for Old MacDonald, and then print out small animals that they can use to trace those letters. You're going to print out one letter per page, and then the children are going to glue the animals onto the letters. The next art project is for Itsy Bitsy Spider. For this one, you're going to cut the body shape of a spider out of a piece of cardboard and then hole punch where you want the legs to go. Each kid will take their pipe cleaners, thread them through the hole, and make legs on a spider. This is not only great for an art project, but also for fine motor skills. The next project is an Itsy Bitsy Spider art book. You're going to have the book already printed out with some things on the page. You're going to need two spouts, a circle, and some clouds. For each page, the children are going to add something to the page. The first page is going to have a spider drawn. The second page is going to have raindrops drawn on the page, sunbeams, and the fourth will have a spider again. Once the book's done, you're going to staple it together and they'll have a fun itsy bitsy spider book that they can take home and read. The next one is a Hey Diddle Diddle Cow and Moon. Each child will get a paper plate and they will paint a moon onto the plate. Now you might want to have an example set out of kind of what you want your moon to look like. And once that's done and dropped, you're going to have the children glue a cow onto a popsicle stick and you will stick the popsicle stick into the center of the plate so the cow can move around and jump over the moon. The next is a Little Bo Peep sheep made with popcorn. For this one, you're going to have popcorn already popped. The children can take the popcorn and glue it onto the sheep to give it kind of a fluffy fur look. For the older kids, they can do their own gluing and practice that as well. A fun art project for Jack and Jill is to get little tin buckets and let the kids paint with the bucket. They can either paint just with the bottom or they can paint with the top and bottom to give you different sized circles as well. And lastly, I made an I'm a little teapot puzzle. I printed out a teapot using Canva and colored it and then cut it into different pieces. You might have to have an example if it's a little confusing for the kids to find what pieces go where, but they can glue the pieces onto a sheet of paper in the correct places. Thanks for watching those art ideas. If you'd love to see more art and activity ideas for preschoolers, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out all the activity ideas for nursery rhymes by going to this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.